How you doing? This is Mitch with the Native Survival School. Today we're going to talk about my field charging kit for my electronics, my headlamp and my phone. Stay tuned. Alright, so here's my kit I use. My camera bag. It's also my charging kit pouch. You may hear boats or planes taking off. I live near the ocean, so there's puddle jumpers and all sorts of boats, things like that. Okay, so inside my kit, I have an anchor external battery. This isn't top of the line, it's not bottom of the line either. This is um, middle ground right here. It's uh, 10,000 milliamps, 10,000 milliamps. USB that I use to charge. Has four lights, as you can see. Each one is 25% of its energy. So I simply plug in what I want to charge into this. Now, I can charge my phone I've never run out of this, ever. I've been out in the woods, in the field for a week, teaching classes and other things like that. And every night, I plug in my phone using the USB on my phone. I just plug right in, charge it right from here. And I've done that for a week and only used 25%, only used one light out of the four. <clears throat> now, why is this so cool? It doesn't just charge my phone, which is important to have. I like to have my phone working in the woods when I'm out there a long time. So, this is my headlamp. The Thrunite TH10. brightest headlamp I've ever used. It's incredible. <clears throat> it uses these batteries. I've got two of them. Rechargeables. Very simply has a recharging station with the through night. Get it lined up perfectly. Contacts. Then all I do is just plug it in, USB, straight into my anchor. Done deal. So, this anchor is how I charge my kit when I'm in the field. I can keep my phone going for extended periods in the field and my headlamp. It's really important because that's kind of the first thing to go is my headlamp. I used to use uh, a Petzl, and it had three AAA batteries, and you know I'd get one or two nights out of them, and that's it. I used to carry nine, 12 batteries with me. Now I can carry two. One's in here. One's here. So I charge the dead one, put in the new one, and keep swapping them. That's it. I never even got to that point. Because I'm just topping it off. Just like my phone, I just top it off. So very simply, an anchor external battery, if used with USB devices, can charge multiple things. For me, it's my phone and headlamp. And I've used several of these, like filming miles out in the forest. I've used four of these. That's, um, 40,000 milliamps, plus I, they also have one that's 20,000 milliamps by itself. I had a couple of those as well. <laughs> I had like 100,000 milliamps with me to charge my headlamp and camera stuff and all that for a very long time. I mean, we're talking months by that point. So this is uh, the small compact kit that I use. It's just a little anchor external battery and it charges my headlamp charges my phone which is really all I need for electronics in the forest 
Now what's cool about this is that if for some reason I find out in the future, for whatever reason, after say a month in the woods, this isn't enough. It doesn't have enough energy. All I have to do is buy another one. Or I can get the one that's 20,000. This is 10,000, I could have two of them, it's 20,000. Well, if I buy the 20,000 one, and I buy two of those, it's 40,000. It's like having four of these. I mean, it's really not a big deal. You just buy more than one. Obviously, the last step to that would be getting a solar charger array to then charge these. I haven't gotten to that point. I don't need it. This has been Mitch with the Native Survival School. This is how I keep my through night headlamp and my phone working for me long periods in the field no worries at all, I've never even come close to emptying this should I check out our website needsurvival.com and as always enjoy the outdoors mm -hmm.